guys, today I want to review my Brigham Tomat Rodex 5 suppressor for the 556 or 223. It comes with a suppressor pouch which can be mounted on a, your belt or anyway where it's some velcro. It has some thick internal pouch which helps a lot to isolate the heat coming from the hot suppressor. As you can see it has a nice bronze grey finish. It's coming from the materials Thermax and the Anchor Trotex 5, as you know, is the lightest version of Alkyd UC pressors from Bugan Tomat. It's marked with a cal 224, but it's the same as 223, only it's for civilians, so you can shoot it single shot only. Yeah, by unscrewing the cap, which is uh, changeable for other flash riders. Uh, let's say you don't want a standard M60 flash rider, but you have another one, similar one. So uh, you only need to change the mounting cap, and you can use the suppressor of any other flash rider. It's really not bad. So this is the most you can disassemble the suppressor. You're asking me why? Because the internal suppressor components are sealed within the suppressor body by encapsulated ring and front and end caps. So this is the mounting cap which can be changed for other flash riders. So you can use your lovely flash rider you like. There isn't much to show you the QD system mounts so uh, let's screw it in. Uh, As you can hear, there's a small rocket which helps you to prevent the cells unscrewing by shooting. By screwing the suppressor onto the flash rider, the mounting cap and the suppressor body are starting to hold into the flash rider, so there's no movement at all. You can use it as a baseball bat uh, if you want or like, and it's still gonna hold zero. For dismounting the suppressor, you only need to turn it anti clockwise and raise the level up. After that, you only need to take it off the flash rider. Now I'm going to show you my original MR223 flash rider with an internal locket to prevent it a self unscrewing. I think it's the same uh, one like uh, the G46. Is it good? I think it's more important to minimize the flash outcome than the uh, other things. Sure, there are a better flash riders, but they compromise their flash for less recoil. Of course, there will be people who's gonna arguing with me, but let me say, you can work on the recoil with your body memory but uh, not on the flash. Uh, let me show you the maintenance uh, field manual. I'm going here, not in the, all details, just only for the specs, uh, like uh, the length. It's about 119.8 millimeters length and about 600 gram the wide. It's stainless steel. Uh, it's a pressed sound to 43 decibels and it's good for 5000 rounds without cleaning and to 10,000 rounds with uh, periodically cleaning. Uh, as you can see there's no the same number here as on my suppressor so, so it is for the 223 as I said it's only for the severe. Yeah, focus. F okay, yeah, I think they're gonna see this, right? Yeah. So there's a picture with uh, some explanations how to maintenance it, how to mount it, how to dismount it. Uh, I think. This is the maintenance 
they are suggesting uh, to uh, clean it after two hundred fifty rounds. If you can, if you can't, it's uh, bad because you can shoot five thousand rounds without maintenance. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's going to clean the on a uh, only you need to clean the uh, scrap the powder it from inside the body. I uh, can see that's very bad here. So there isn't much to clean. Uh, for a better cleaning, you can uh, throw it into a solvent or an ultrasonic cleaner overnight to clean it inside from the dirt. As I said before, by warning, the internal suppressor components are sealed within the suppressor body by the uh, capsulate, blah blah blah. Uh, I think uh, there's no way to replace the rings inside. Or maybe the manufacturer can uh, do whatsoever, but uh, I don't suggest you open it yourself or look inside because you wanna lose your warranty. So you, if you want to, uh, you, want, you can uh, call them and uh, explain what happened. Maybe they have some uh, answers for you. But uh, with 10,000 rounds, proof of suppressor, it's a really big amount of it. So it's really hard to destroy it, like so. If you maintain it like uh, there's Explain it in this uh, main book. So you're gonna hold a uh, really, really long period of time with the suppressor. Let me now demonstrate you how fast and uh, only with one hand how quick you can. Uh, Mount the suppressor into the, onto the flash hider. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use my MR223 from Lackland Koch. Uh, it's really hard to uh, <laughs> find the right way because I'm looking through the camera, so it's a little bit, uh, I guess, say. Let's take a little bit of time now. But it's still manageable to access and mount it with one hand without looking also. Let's create like this. And now you can use it as a baseball bat. I don't suggest that, but Uh, yeah, here you're gonna see a, a really big flash coming out of the suppressor. It's because uh, it was uh, cleaned and uh, there was still some uh, powder left inside after cleaning. So, uh, the second on the third shot, you see nothing coming out because uh, it was all burned by the first shot. Into the jungle